Well, he's about to be. He's done an ultra marathon now. Yes, ultra, ultra, and a little bit extra ultra on top of that. This is Colin Schmidt. How are you feeling this morning, Colin? feel pretty good. It's a little cold, but that's good. That'll wake you up a little bit, so I'm ready to go. I think you'll be warmed up plenty here in just a minute because he's getting ready to head out on a 224-mile run. He hopes to complete it in 72 hours. And that number is significant, 224. That is the badge number of fallen officer Natalie Corona. Now, Schmidt is a fitness trainer here at Get Fit Davis. He's no stranger to ultra marathons, but he's never done anything like what he's about to set out on this morning 224 miles an ultra ultra marathon of which he hopes to finish sunday which is february 24th that is 224. he'll rely on the do's and don'ts that he's learned the hard way from previous runs he's designed a 17 mile loop around davis he'll need to complete that course 13 times by sunday and he's going to do it with very little sleep so i'm gonna push real hard to get a lot of miles in bank a lot of miles first two days get a nice three four five hours sleep in wake up on sunday morning maybe got 60 miles to cover and then last 24 hours just hammer that home and try to finish before before 224 is over now, if you want to follow Colin's progress, you can do so on his Davis 224 Facebook site. He's got a map on there, he, uh, and he's doing all of this to raise money for the Natalie Corona Memorial Scholarship Fund. So you can make a donation on there. You can find out his location. He encourages you to come out here, cheer him on on the course, or join him on the course. We've got a few folks out here. They're going to join him this morning, go out there and kind of send things off this morning. But he'll be running through Sunday, maybe into Monday if he needs it. But again, come out here. You can pace him and cheer him on. Colin, you ready? Ready to go. All right, he's got Hannibal and Smoke here with him. Let's count them off here for 72 hours of running in five, four, three, two, one. Be safe, Colin. There we go. He's going to be running off on a 14 to 15 minute pace, and he says that'll actually put him ahead of schedule, and that'll, that's the pace that'll allow him to stop down for a little bit of rest. He hopes to run 24 hours straight starting right now, banking some miles, and then by Sunday, he hopes to have maybe 60 miles, yeah, just 60 miles left to finish things up by Sunday evening on 224. So check him out, Davis 224, and come out and cheer him on along the course. You'll find that map on his page. Back to you Love guys. Love it. And you're going to hit the road with him for a little while this morning? We're going to head out right now. I'm going to go lace up here in just a second and go join him along the course, hopefully live at 630. All right. Sounds good. We'll see you then. Thank you.